Okay, this is what we've done on the back side here. This was a four by four by 10 foot long. It goes up, I made a cut it a little too short, which is okay, it's gonna get trimmed out, so you're not gonna see that imperfection. And so I cut it, it's about, I don't know, a foot and some change and put it in two foot. So cut it about a foot and then put it in two, it goes about seven foot tall, maybe six and some change. The door, now what I ended up doing with the door is, I measured pretty precisely between the two posts and then down here I had to kind of chisel some stuff away on both sides just to get that door to fit. Now you'll see that these are pretty flush and if you look down they're they're almost perfectly in line. There's a trick to doing that and what I did was I took these two by fours here and I pieced three of them together and I'll show you the jig that I'm going to make because I'm going to do that to the front and what you do is you have two by fours that are three of them that are 18 foot that go this way and what we're going to do is you take some of these clamps these clamps right here and you clamp that two by four on this particular pole doesn't have to be even but right here on this metal pole and you clamp that to the other one and what that does is it will allow you to level this post front to back so when you set these posts and so you'll have your jig if you set this post here and it's not level from the front then you know you kick the back down and so these are perfectly in line and then you can see looking straight across how perfect that is even going this direction you can see how that's pretty good and you're not going to see these interior posts so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here we're going to put a post on this end that goes seven foot tall we'll move this bracket i'm going to put a post on this end seven foot tall we'll move this bracket in and then when we get our garage door we'll go a foot in here put a post up and then we'll frame that out and have the garage What this is going to do is, it's going to allow me to put my 4x4 from there all the way up to right here. And then know it's not going to go any further than where that is. And then I'm going to set and do the same thing on that side as well. Now that's the same setup I did back over here to keep those in line. Another thing you need to do is if they put these screws on the outside, because we're going to put this 4x4 up against it, undo those, put those back in. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this post 